Hi, Mr. Hayes here, talking through Stasmetic. We're finishing up chapter six, and we're going to talk about geometric distributions today. The way that we do it, and by the way, all the notes are down below, like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about water bottle clipping today. And I didn't realize this, but this was the video that started it all. It was from a talent show back in 2016. I don't think the audio is coming through comes up and boom crowd goes wild and an internet sensation was born he does have an interesting TEDx talk if you ever have a chance to see that um, anyway so what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna talk about a situation where in this case um, Mark here is in a stats class practicing his active bottle flipping. He tells his friends that practicing successfully, he's got about a 20% chance doing it. And we're going to assume each independent, each water bottle flip is independent. So we're going to run through um, the binomial distribution first. So we're going to say, okay, how many times is, if he flips it 10 times, how many times is it going to end up landing? Well, 10 times, the, you know, n times p is two flips. Good. By the way, check that it was binomial. Boom, 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 boom. Away we go. Um, what's the probability they mix exactly two flips? There is the formula. You can go through if you want to and go ahead and use your binomial PDF if you wanted to. And then again, you've got 10.22. And again, go through and label out what each part is. So this is going to be again N, and then P, and then X. And pencil comes out just fine. Great. So anyway, apparently green, however, does not. I'm sorry. So what's the probability that he makes it less than two flips? So we want to go less than two flips. And again, you can use binomial CDF from here. Um, so probability of zero times the probability of one is going to equal about 37%. And then the probability of getting at most two flips, we would add up both of those and we'd go through boom, 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 boom. And we get about 67% chance that he would have to take at least three or two flips to get what's going on. Um, he makes it most two flips, I'm sorry. So then after the first 10 flips, Michael wants to do more, but his teacher is getting annoyed with all of the noise, so he tells him to stop flipping once he lands it. So now this is a little different. Instead of having a set number of things, you're going to go until you make it. And so that's kind of actually what we're trying to set up here from this last section of Chapter 6. So the probability he lands it on the first try is going to be 0 0.2. Why? Because it's a 20% chance of landing it. So now, when he goes, if what's the probability he makes it on the second try? So again, he fails on the first try, but he makes it on the second. So you have an 80% chance of failure here. Okay, so this is the fail, and this is the success. So, by our probability rules from Chapter 5, we multiply the two together. So it's now 16% chance it takes him two flips to make it. What happens if he fails on the first two? So again, notice fail, fail, success. So we multiply all that out, we get 12%. And then over here, what happens if it takes three turns? Oh, fail, fail, fail. You seeing a pattern yet? The pattern that you should be seeing is that obviously if we're talking about four tries, the first that means you have to fail one less than that. And that's what comes up over here. So you get 0.8 to the third power times 0.2 to the first power because, oops, to the first power because that is, you only are going for the one success. The other thing to notice here is notice how these are going down. And if you think about it, you're multiplying this 0.2 by a number that's less than one. So it is going to go down. And then we're taking this number, which is basically right here, multiplying by a number less than zero or less than one so it's going to go down goes down goes down goes down so that's part of what we're seeing it's a declining probability that it's going to take additional throws now over here here is the full setup so what's the probability that it goes through and takes at least up to six so we've got all the numbers here we just did these here are the next two and if you wanted to you could almost do this in a regressive sequence where you're just going to go times 0.8 hit enter on your calculator, and then just go answer 0 0.8, and you can just keep hitting enter and enter to go through that um, if you wanted to. Just be careful that you're counting correctly. Uh, what's the probability that he lands on the 10th try? Write a generic rule for finding the probability that he first lands the bottom of the K-flip. Okay, so missed that part. 
So first of all, 0.8 times 9, because he had 9 failures, times 0.2. So it would still take almost 3% of the time. I mean, not super likely, but it's still, you know, 3%. There's still a chance that it would take that long. And then for the kth flip, you would end up going through and doing this. You would say, okay, I'm going to take probability that x is going to equal k. And that's going to be equal to 1 minus p. So that's your failure rate, right? Times k to the minus 1 power times just the probability. Okay? So then the next question becomes, how many flips do you expect it, sorry, to take for the bottle to land right side up? And why? Well, since there's a 20% probability of landing right side up, that's one out of five. So think about it. You're going to get one success out of every five tries. And so that's why you would say, okay, it's going to be one out of five. Now, the other way that you can get there, and we're going to talk about this on the next page. Actually, we'll save it for the next video. Okay, so we're going to do it on part two. So we'll show you some of the formulas in terms of how to do set, this, set, set some of these things up. But that's it. Last experience of chapter six. We'll talk to you soon. See you in part two.